Hello, dear colleagues. My name is Dati Platonova, and I'm the Spatial Planner of the Planning and Development Department of Bausk Local Municipality. One of the main activities of the Engray project was development of a local plan for landscapes and green infrastructure for Bausk Municipality. Today, I will present a brief summary of the plan. The basis of the thematic plan consists of the river within the administrative territory of Bauska town, Musa, Memele, the confluence of Lialupe, and the territories along its banks. Green infrastructure approach has been used for the development of the territory, which allows using the regularities of nature to increase natural capital. Survey of the river territories and their banks on foot and by car was carried out during the development of the thematic plan. River banks and pedestrian paths of them, swimming and fishing spots, recreation areas, park, square, and the left bank of Memele from the side of the old town were inspected. River and their banks infrastructure accessibility was evaluated. The rivers and their banks are the main part of the town green infrastructure that ensures the mobility of species. Line type and area type green structures such as street plantings, green islands, parks, squares and other green zones are important for the town. One of the most important issues talking about rivers landscape is aesthetics and identity. Both rivers are different and create identity of the place. For example, Musa River has monotone view, river is invisible, relief, relief is flat and grassland is visible until trees and bushes. This is wide open space and diversity of plants in form about wetland. Sometimes being this area you don't feel that the river is nervy and these feelings characterize the value of the space. But describing the Memo River, it is dynamic. River also has a wide open space and we can see far views over the river. The thematic plan proposes scenarios for the development of river landscape and green infrastructure in the scopes of the town, the outsquares and the activity centers. Each of the development scenarios scopes studies and illustrates the proposed vision, landscape aesthetic, functional connectivity, recreation opportunities of the rivers and territories along its banks and recreations. First scenario town link between circular ecological network and embankment. The second one scenario link between point ecological network and embankment. And uh, last scenario, the development of river embankment will vitalize three main objects, Riga Street, Bauska Castle and City Sports Stadium. The thematic plan gives suggestions also for the brand image of the river landscape that highlights the importance of river in the Bauska town. And our favorite is option number one. In the scope of the thematic plan, Bauska town river territories have been divided into three landscape spaces based on the charter, natural base, cultural historical heritage and their location within the context of the town. The first landscape space characterizes the banks of the Moose River. Each character and mood is governed by the existing profile of the Moose River Valley, which is wide and accessible. Proposal to provide access in uh, and walk into the river, see the water, explore the nature, possibility to enjoy different landscapes character, dry land near river, wetland between water plants, and river itself. 
On Moose River, existing relief is suitable for promenade solution in different levels, including linear mo movements along the river, landscape design elements and individual elements as brand of rivers, and that help to recognize certain location or activities. The second landscape space characterizes the confluence of rivers Moose and Memele. The character and mood of the space is governed by the Bauska Castle, its park, and the nature park Bauska. The existing profile of the Moose and the Memele rivers is both wide and narrow, hard to oversee, and partially accessible. Moose River has enough space to develop linear-oriented infrastructure for recreation, wide low areas suitable for thematic, educational and different lengths past near water or above water, and example place for meditation. Many wider riverbanks can be developed for passive or active recreation, site for new buildings development, a new function close to river and uh, to involve river presence in society life. The last landscape space characterizes the banks of the river Memele, which character and mood is governed by the buildings of the old town on the left bank of the river Memele. The existing profile of the Memele river is narrow, easy to oversee. Developing public-private partnership, we can develop yards as a creative space in inspiration environment, small intimate platforms close to water, preconditions to for non-formal education opportunities, social activities, outdoor inhabitants, possible to improve existing access to the river. In the northern part of Memele, visible inhabitants effort to reach the water from residential buildings, so that is one of the reasons to build infrastructure allowed to spend time on the river, also integrate existing cycling roads into new infrastructure with viewpoints, view platforms, and also resting place. Guidelines for town river landscape and green infrastructure management include measures for maintenance of nature and cultural values, rivers, natural ecosystem restoration, and sustainable development for public exterior space. Rivers landscape maintenance work are targeted at improvement of rivers' ecological status with regular works to help rivers to get back to their natural state as it was before pollution. Finally, remember that cultures, climates differ all over the world, but people are the same. They will gather in public if you give them a good place to do it. And of course, Bowski Town Municipality is, is responsible for implementation of thematic plan, including other Bowski Regional Municipality departments, institutions and authorities. Thank you very much. And all the information about the thematic plan is available on our website.